This was a life-changing experience for me because I got lucky. I got lucky and blessed by God and by the universe that I was able to meet these kids. One, two, three! Appalachian! Appalachian High and Appalachian High School football team. I can't imagine what those kids are going through. A reaction is pouring in after that tragic school shooting that shocked the tight-knit community of Winder, Georgia yesterday. We're learning more about those victims, one of them very well known among students here. That's Richard Aspinwall, one of the assistant football coaches for the Appalachian High School football team. He always would try to help us, push us to be greater, try to make us better people. I did. It's a very unfortunate situation for us, losing our coach that we all love and dear. Truthfully, I know he's watching above us right now. He's smiling at us. Through the grace of God, we will get through this all together. Yes, sir. Hugs are good. Hugs are good, man. Yeah, hugs are good. So let's go over and say hello to the boys. I wanted to see them face to face and just tell them how proud I was of them and their strength and their resilience. <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming out. It's good to see you guys. Had an opportunity to spend time with your coach. We had a good chat. It meant a lot to me that he was spending time with me. Just like it means a lot to me that you guys were able to come here and I'm able to see you guys. You're sharing with me just how proud he is of you guys. The strength that you guys are exhibiting. And I can feel that as soon as I walk in this room. Like we have a word, it was a word called Mono. It comes from in here. It's like spirit, power. And that's what you guys have. And that's what you guys born with, it's in your DNA. It's gonna allow you to get through this very, very tough time. I can't imagine what you guys are going through, but my heart is with you, my strength is with you. you might have a game, is that right, next Friday? Yes, sir. You think you guys are ready to play? Yes, sir. So if you guys play at home, I'm gonna be there right there. Hey. Let's bring it in, let's bring it in. We're gonna break this down. Appalachian strength. All three. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 This is Appalachia's first home game since that deadly shooting happened one month ago. The school says it's expecting a large crowd tonight as people come to cheer on the guys. Including one celebrity who's gonna be on hand tonight. That's right, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been very supportive of the Wildcats. I can't tell you just how much the atmosphere here feels like this community is feeling. It's really just so powerful how strong the human spirit can be. On the sidelines tonight are the family of one victim, Mason Skirmahorn. <laughs> as well as numerous students and one coach who were wounded but recovering. It's a hero. So it it's real cool. Yeah, here. <laughs> And I got hit in the hip too, and neither one of them hit me. That's vital. This is also one of our big Jones. She is an all star. He shot me right here. It's heartbreaking, but also their strength and their resilience. Just inspiring. Thank you so much for coming. It's my real pleasure, my privilege. Coach Hancock shared with me that he said, you know, we're 0 and 12. We haven't won a football game in a long time. You boys ready? Yes, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. I got chills right now. He said, this is why it's really good. These kids are able to see you and talk with you. You guys know there's a big crowd out there waiting for you. It's emotional. That's the beauty of this moment right now. It's beyond the game. I said, look, coach, I'm honored. But the truth is, brother, you ain't 0-12 anymore. You've already won the game. You're undefeated. Those kids are undefeated in life. I love you guys. Get out there and do what you do. Wildcat football. This is 
the reminder to live life as full and as great as we possibly can because you never know what's around the corner. No one, no one is ever broken, no. Things can break around you. At times you may feel like you're breaking down, but no one is ever broken and those kids are an example of that. Yeah!